welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And today I'm here to do my next part in ranking the Hugos. And this is going to be for the graphic novels. I'm going to start the rankings going with sixth place to first place, at least in my opinion. And for me, the graphic novel that comes into sixth place is The Parable of the Sower. Now, I just want to be clear, I have not read the book. And it might be once I read the book that my opinion of this graphic novel will change. However, I was finding it very wordy. There was a lot of text on it, and I felt like it was pulling it... I felt like the text was taking away from the images that we were being shown. So I just found it very wordy, very info dumpy, and I did not enjoy that at all. So that is why it is sixth for me. Fifth place is Ghost Spider Volume 1, Dog Days Are Over by Seanan McGuire. This was a graphic novel. While I really enjoyed the artwork, I felt like the story was all over the place. And it kept having footnotes to other stories, other volumes, and it was very chaotic. And I think it did it I think it did a disservice by being so jumping around versus tell this story at this moment. In fourth place I have Invisible Kingdom, Volume 2, Edge of Everything by G. Willow Wilson. Again, gorgeous artwork. I actually really enjoyed this volume better than the first one. The first one felt like a lot of setup, and in this one you get the actual movement of the story. You get to see more of the characters coming into their own. In the first one, a big plot was uncovered, and in this one we're now seeing the fallout of what that means to their lives. In third place I have Die, Volume 2, Split the Party, by Karen Gion and Stephanie Hans. I'm really enjoying this. This is kind of, it's a portal fantasy. This is like Jumanji meets D&D. A group of people when they were young got sucked into this ga game world called Die, and all except for one of them got out. As adults, they are now sucked back into it and are now working to get out. And there's some differences of opinion. In order to get out, everyone has to be in accord. And there's some who want to go home because they have families back home and they don't want to miss out on what's going on with their families. And then there are other people who feel like they need to make the world of die better. That some of their actions from when they were last there have really screwed things up. And so they want to stay. And so it's a battle of shall we go or shall we stay? And I'm really enjoying this. Um, I do feel like number two is actually the weaker volume of the three that I have read so far, but I did enjoy three a lot better, and I'm looking forward to the fourth one. And now for rank number two and rank number three, this was really hard for me. I liked both extremely well. They for my personal rating system, they came out dead even, but I like different things about each one. And honestly, it depends on the day which is comes in first, which comes in second. For today, in second place, I have Monstrous Volume 5, War Child, and this is Bali Micah, as she is really leaning in to her relationship with Zen and what that actually means and will entail in the future, especially as a war is looming, or a war has started in this one. And then for rank number one, I have Once in Future, volume number one, The King is Undead. And this is a King Arthur retelling, but Arthur is not the good guy that we thought he was. I'm still not 100% certain what is going on, but I'm really enjoying the vibe that's coming with this. And um, this is also written by Karen Gillum, and the artist is Dan Mora. I think that this one did really well with 
balancing the in the information that we need to understand the story and the artwork that is going on. It's a nice blending of modern and otherworldly. And yeah, again, I'm enjoying this series. I'm glad that it was nominated because I otherwise would not have heard of it. I'm not a big graphic novel person on my own, but I do like reading the things that are nominated. That's how I find out a lot of them. What is your opinion of these graphic novels? What is your ranking for the nominations for the Hugos? Leave me a note down below. Thank you and have a great day.